You will soon go to a medical age assessment. In this video, we explain what will happen. The purpose of the age assessment is to check whether you are a minor. On the day of the assessment, a social counsellor from the guardianship service will pick you up. Bring your Annex 26 or another document that has your name on it. The counsellor will drive you to the hospital. Depending on where you live and the location of the hospital, the drive may be longer or shorter. Do not hesitate to bring a book or your mobile phone to keep yourself entertained in the car. At the hospital, the counsellor will take you to the right ward. You will wait in the waiting area until the nurse comes to get you. The nurse will ask you to take off your jacket and jewellery for the x-rays. Three x-rays will be taken. One of your teeth, one of your collarbone and one of your wrist. It is important that you remain still and only move again when the nurse says you can. Taking the x-rays does not hurt and does not take long. After the three x-rays have been taken, the counsellor will take you back. The doctor will send the age assessment report to the guardianship service. The result of the assessment is not an exact age, it is an estimate. Based on the lowest estimate, along with your statement and any documents you have, the guardianship service will make a decision on your age. You will receive this decision within about 10 days. The decision letter will then serve as proof of your age. If it takes longer than 10 days, the guardianship service will inform you. What if you were under 18 according to the decision? You were considered a minor and will be assigned a guardian to help you with any questions. What if you were over 18 according to the decision? You will not be assigned a guardian. If you have any questions, you can contact your social assistant or lawyer. If you disagree with the decision of the guardianship service, discuss it with your lawyer. Together, you can decide to file a court appeal. Do you have any new documents that can prove your age? Or do you have additional questions about the assessment? Here's how you can contact the guardianship service.